it was a it was a special day because uh, that day was bad weather and I was out there and I hit my eye, I had a blue eye, I fell on the boat because I was doing 10 things at the same time and then the wave came and I miscalculated. So um, I had this black eye and we were going through really cold, it was January, it was minus 15 or so, snowstorm, following that group. And it was three o'clock, all the whale watching boats have left and we were still with the group. The rest of the group went into the fjord and I said, okay, let's call it a day, we go home, I need to look at my eye. And uh, at that very moment, the old female, she was always, the whole three weeks, she was a bit off and always was watching the whole situation. Maybe she was ill, she was very old, I have no idea. But uh, she came up to the boat all by herself and she lay next to the boat and she looked into my eyes. She turned around and looked into my eyes. And she was just a hand, like I tried to touch her, but she was, she kept like just the distance so I couldn't touch her. So obviously they don't want to be touched. Then she went around and did that with my two assistants. We, all three of us were looked into the eye by this animal five times. And while she was doing this very close, she produced a complicated calm. Also in the end, before she left us, she took the propeller in her mouth and was shaking it a bit. So I think she was testing also the material of the propeller because often these animals, when they come too close, they get hurt by the spinning of the propeller. And when she did that, she left and went to the rest of the group. So um, the situation was reversed. We were studied by the whale and we didn't study the whale anymore. So um, that was a very special situation. And I'm very glad I did not take out the hydrophone because of this call. And I recorded this call two times again later, every time when animals approach the boat. So this might be some excitement call or I don't know. Did you ever hear it when animals were not approaching the boat? No, never. This is the approach to boat call. Yeah. But uh, I do this little game and I do it with, uh, I did it with my tourists. I have this little center, it's open for tourists. And when I give this talk in the end, I want to involve the people. And uh, I would like to know from you what you think she was saying. Okay, the first thing that comes into your head when you hear this sound, what do you think she was saying? Any nonsense is welcome. This is not serious science. So this is just for us to kind of what would we make out of a complex call like that? Okay, you ready? Did you give this sound to me? Do I have it? No. So what do you think? The first thing sounds like a kiss. Like a kiss? Yeah. You know, flat touch is blown. 